you know, just uh, changed the throw at us. So, I mean, some of us have died and come back. Yay. How many here, how many people here have died before? Yay. Yay. Death is boring. Actually, uh, there's, there's nothing after death. All right. It's, when they say rest in peace, it's actually the truth. There's no consciousness. There's no pain. There's nothing. All right. And I was stupid enough to come back and look at all you stupid motherfuckers anyway. Yay. Yay. That's it. Make friends with the audience. I make friends. I make friends go away. Yeah. Well, if you like us enough, um, we got a lot of merch. It's really cheap. We got a full-length live album for five bucks. We got uh, double-sided t-shirts for eight bucks. We got a few compilations out that we're on. That there we sell, we sell them cheaper than you can get them anywhere else. Just in case you, uh, I'm not a real guitarist. You know, if there are any, uh, as I said, if there are any real guitar players, actually there is a real guitar player in the in the, in the crowd who might be able to take up the X in the near future. But uh, I'm sort of like a place keeper. I, I I belong running around and bashing my head, banging my head against things, and uh, getting near concussions and whatnot. That's my job. I should not be holding an instrument. But uh, Fortunately or unfortunately for you, depending on who you're rooting for, yay, I'll be massacring this, the, uh, the strings today for your uh, pleasure. <coughs> Introduce the band. We got, of course, in the rear corner, beating up the skins. It's Madge the Beast. And uh, no, your eyes do not deceive you. We are poor ass motherfuckers. And uh, they said the kid was, was uh, short one time. So we got the fucking water cooler bottle for you. It's, it's gonna blow your fucking mind, one way or the other. And of course, uh, on the four, on the, on the six-string bass uh, to my eight-string guitar from uh, Lucifer, jo the Lucifer Jonas Brothers. We got Shane, and uh, you know, if you don't know who I am by now, well, that means I can get away easy. You might as well look it back there. Can you get more water bottle in the monitor? <laughs> I need more water bottle. Yo, we need a sound check on the water bottle. Can you check the water bottle for us? All right, that's good enough. Yay, yay. Eight years of Juilliard, and I was like, no, <laughs> no, I was this year. We actually had a keyboard player for a while. I went to Juilliard, and uh, he kept, you know, he wouldn't pay attention to any of our rehearsals, and the whole whole show, he would like be walking around with the keyboard, like you know, shaking it like this, and playing everything but the songs that we were playing. And he's like, eight years of Juilliard for this? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, we played here like a month ago and we decided, well, we're not going to play the same set twice, so uh, this set is almost nothing like the set we played here a month ago, so uh, yay. We ready? I suppose we're ready. All right, first little number is a public service announcement for the Voluntary Human Extinction Movement. Thank you for not breeding.
and log on to www.vhemt.org. We also support the Church of Euthanasia, their one commandment, thou shalt not procreate, the four sacraments, sodomy, suicide, abortion, and cannibalism, I figure it, I think it is. Look them up, Church of Euthanasia, real fun guys. <coughs> fun guys. Speaking of things dying, this is a song about our hometown and what's been done to it for the past 20 some odd years. There's a plague upon us. You know people who are into like The Walking Dead and shit like that? They're all out there. Hipsters have infested our fucking neighborhoods. This next one is called Everything is Awesome.
Yeah, how's the sound out there? Can you hear the water bottle very like clearly? Or do we need to mic the water bottle? It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Now go die. Buy a fucking $8 latte. To quote myself, which I often do, if you got eight bucks to spend on a cup of fucking coffee, buy yourself a clothesline and just fucking hang yourself. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Positive. Positive. All right, well, uh, I bet you didn't forget uh, that Saturday is actually the Sabbath day, not Sunday, which means just by being here, you're all going to go to hell. Time for the religious portion of our programming. Whee! Whee! A little that we call horseship. Horseship. Put it together. Horseship. Horseship. <laughs> Yo, man, she gives a four count.
said we did play here like a month ago to the day, and we played almost a completely different set. And uh, afternoons are getting kind of rough for Magic Beast back there, but I'm sure if you have us back in a month or two, we'll play a set that's completely different from either of these two. Actually, for our 25th anniversary, we played 25 songs for 25 years. Which sounds fucking cool, when you, except when you realize we had one drummer for two and a half fucking hours. It's like, never again, never again. Well, wait till the year 26. <laughs> Thank you. 
Manage the Beast. People say, why did you have an iconic side reunion? Been around for so long. This is probably, me and Manage the Beast being on the same stage together is the closest that iconic side will ever come to a fucking reunion. This motherfucker originally joined the band back in 1992. Split from the band for a while, saw him walking on the street, and you're back in. You're back in. Remember, you're never alone. You're never alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. No, that's the other band he was in. Sinner Steel. Right? Anyway, after Imagine Beast left the band for a while, our first show, I dedicated this song to him. Not as a diss or anything, but because it was one of his favorite songs during the, when he was in the band. It's called a number called uh, Wasted. Uh, what do we get? CD that's not really released very widely. The CD was called Die For Your God in the early years. We actually got pins with the cover illustration on for like two bucks if you want to throw it to the one that's really one. Hey, but... What was that? Oh, yeah, 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 the new album that hasn't come out yet. Godspeed. That song is going to be redone. Even though uh, the guy who was recording it wouldn't let one guy stick around to go, whoa. That song goes out to anyone out there who still remembers how to go, whoa. Whoa. Anyway, uh, how much time we got left? Couple more? All right, so uh, you want to do something else before we do World's End? Like? What would you like to do? Well, we're not going to do yet, and we fucked up this. The last time we did United and Fucked Up was like 17 minutes long. It was a dot, I was like walking around with a traffic cone on my head. It was really, it was really neat. But anyway, we're not going to do that one. Uh, want to just do OTK? Do OTK. Follow along.
started, I swear I actually taught it to him after he started playing. That's part of the course. Remember, to quote one of my good friends, not me, good or guitar guy. Actually, quote, yeah, I quote myself. I was talking about him. You don't have to know it, just fucking play it. Right, this one's gonna be our last number. Remember, we got a lot of merch, it's really cheap. You actually be taking money out of my pocket by buying it. So if you wanna hurt me, if you wanna make me feel bad, buy something. Buy a whole lot of shit, and I'll end up fucking broke. Because it costs me more to make it than it is to give it to you. Really. It's anti-profit. You know, this thing makes my cigarette pack vibrate in my pocket, and it feels like my phone. And now, the happiest song in the entire set. Seeing as the sun is out, and the weather's all nice and pretty, it's time for one thing. It's time for a world! 